Hi all. In this video, let's learn and explore more about React context. So when to use this React context and what problem it is going to solve for us and like what is a proper props drilling and how to use use context and whether a React context is going to replace the Redux or not. So let's discuss all these points one by one. So the first thing is what are the use cases for React context? Before that, React context, we use React context to share the data throughout the components. To each and every components, we can share the data very easily. So the use cases are like the theme data. If you want to modify the theme data from the dark mode to the light mode or light mode to the dark mode, you need to pass this data to enter all the three component, every each and every component. So in that case, and also the user login data, whenever the user is logged in, we can show the welcome username to the header component. You can pass that the user information wherever necessary. So in that case also, you can pass this data to the components which they need. So the location specific data, in sense the language or the locale, if you modify your language, that data, that piece of data should be known to each and every component throughout the component structure. So in these uh, of use cases, we can use the React context. So first of all, let's see uh, what is the problem this React context is going to solve for us. So if you have a component like this, app is a component. So it takes theme as a property. So it will pass this theme, theme property to the all its components like header, main, sidebar, and footer. So again, in terms of this header, this header component is this. So it may have uh, other many components like user login menu. Even this, if the header component is not going to use this theme component, theme uh, property, it is going to receive this only to send to its children. So that's the reason it is receiving. Internally, if the other component is also receiving that property only to send to its children, it may not use this property directly, only in order to send to its children, it is receiving that. So with the help of this React context, we can avoid this property drilling. So this is known as property drilling. So from the app, we are passing this property to the header and from header, even header is not using that. It is taking this property only to, to send to other components, its shell components. So this is a property drilling problem and React context will help us to solve this problem. So how it will be helping us. So let's take an example, how to create and use the React context. So here React context is an API that is built in React 16. So how to use that? So the first step is you need to import React, okay, from React. So the first step we need to do. Now, the second step is we need to create an object for the create context. So let me export context, context object, okay. I'm, I'm trying to take a global variable like this and create, dot create context so i'm creating an object to create context and i'm storing that in the context object and now i'm exporting that because this context should be used in other files as well so that's the reason i'm in exporting this context object note you can pass the uh, initial value here as well so let me discuss that later but this is a point you can pass the initial value here so this is the first step. You need to import React and you need to create and create context object. This object, it will have two properties. So it will have two properties. One is a provider and one, another one is a consumer. So how to use them? So let me uh, take one by one step. So in order to pass the provider means you are passing, you are providing the data. Consumer means you, you should use the data. This create context object will have these two properties. We will be using this provider property to the component tree level. So it means at the top level. So as we discussed the context, this is an object dot. It has a property called provider. So we are using this provider and we need to give entire app container. It means entire component tree should be given to this. We need to wrap around the provider. This is our component tree. It means all the components will reside in this app container. We need to wrap this app container with our provider. So once we wrap this, you need to pass the value like this. 
so this is a property you are going to pass and this value can be used in any of the component so in in this case we are bypassing the props we are not using the props and we are avoiding the props drilling by using this value and now you can send an object so i am sending an object theme dark so just i am sending a theme dark so this object so you can pass object string any value here so here i am using i am passing object this object is available and now you can use this object in any of the components present in this app container so let's take one component and let's do that so i am creating a component here app container objects so let me import that app container component as well from app container so now i am importing that app container so let's write uh, the code in the app container for example function app container so now here we have used the provider we came to know how to use the provider we need to wrap this provider to the app container and entire all component tree and we are passing some data so this is how we pass the data so now we will be seeing how to consume the data so how to consume the data is now uh, we need to use so there will be a pattern called as render property pattern so that is a, known as a render property pattern so how to use that pattern is like you need to mention the context object okay so as i have used this context object it was imported automatically in sense in order to use in order to consume the data we need to use this context object okay so that's the reason we have exported that so we we are importing that context object from app here so now context object that dot we ha we have discussed we have another property called consumer so you are going to use this consumer and now this is like a render property pattern means it 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 will behave like a function and it will pass the value of the property and now here you can use this values so let me uh, do a h2 and now i will uh, try to print the values in this object so this uh, value can be a string or object but here we have passed this as an object this is object theme dark will be available here so i'm trying to print value dot theme so now we need to get uh, dark as a output and so we have this is how we need to use the consumer context dot consumer we are just importing it from the app okay wherever you want this context then you need to follow these steps like you need to import that from the app because you have declared the component there that's the reason we have exported so you need to use a consumer uh, consumer in order to consume this value so this is like a render property pattern this is known as a render property pattern it means it behaves like a function it will it will pass a property as a value it means from the provider you will be passing that value right so that can be uh, used here so the, those values can be used in this value so this is how you need to consume the data so uh, let's see uh, that in the browser so we got app container does not have a default export fine so the reason we got this is we are using app container here app container but we have not exported that so let's export that by default okay now we will not get that error so we'll be getting dark directly so in sense the provider has passed the data and the consumer is successfully able to use this so this is known as a render property pattern so this is like a huge things like this is a bit strange to use so from uh, react 16.8 we got hooks so where you can use use context so let me write the same code once again by using the use context so let me comment out this so i will write this with the use context now so let me write this export default function app container so you may feel that this uh, render render props pattern is a bit difficult because uh, this is uh, it behaves like a function it gets one uh, props as a parameter and you can use this props as a values so 
we can use use context hook which will make uh, very easily to consume the values so let's see that how to use uh, the user context so for this also the easiest way is like constant value so i'm uh, getting that value from uh, we need to import the context context will be available in the react package so this is the use context is a use context is a hook now we are trying to consume the data with this use context hook so here what you can do is we can directly create say use context and in the bracket you can directly mention the context object instead of the properties so now you have directly mentioned the context object so this object is available so now this value you you can use like same as earlier so now i got this value so i will be using an h2 uh, tag like this now uh, i can uh, create value dot dark so this is a uh, very much easiest way right so instead of uh, using this uh, render property pattern so this is very much easy uh, you just need to use use context hook and you are passing the context object as a parameter and you are uh, you will be getting the values here that values you can use in your code so let let's check that so again we got the dark as well uh, it's not getting give me a second why let's check so so the same output we need to get context should be get here so i think we are missing something oh no no not the dark we need to use as theme so sorry the value is object so in that object we'll be having theme dot dark night uh, dark so we have used just dark so that's the reason we did not got the solution value dot theme we need to use now we'll be getting the dark fine we have we now we came to know that what are the context api how to create this object how to pass a provider how to consume that value in the both the options this is the normal option we can use a consumer we can consume the data from 16.8 we got this use context so from here we are going to use like this we we could able to access or consume the data like this so the other thing is like does this react context will override or replace the redex no that will not happen because here redex is a state management but Re react context is like we are taking an provision like uh, we are passing the data to all the components in an easy way it means we are just uh, solving the problem props drilling problem that's it we are the state the data which we are not updating so that type of data we need to keep in the react context the free if you are not updating the data frequently so that type of data you need to keep in the react context so in that way you can pass the data to to the components throughout the application so that is the main purpose and usage of this react context whereas coming to the redex redex is a design pattern which we use to maintain the state management across the application that is very much uh, different case use case so there is no uh, nothing can replace uh, uh, redex redex has its own design pattern and Re react context has its own use cases both will be exist and both uh, there is no uh, direct uh, com communication or a comparison between both of them so this is all about the react context so hope you understand the video thanks for watching please subscribe for more video